Each Tuesday, we welcome Dr. Steve Turkovich, president of Oshai Children's Hospital, here on the show for Ask the Pediatrician. Always great to have you. Thanks, Thanks for, for having coming me. back. I want to start there with that the, those concerns about this measles outbreak in Florida. Um, it seems like measles is this thing we used to talk about, mm -hmm. right? And now yeah. it's back in the headlines. Um, we obviously have different rules and regulations here than in Florida, different guidance here apparently. Um, what are you telling people as they see this happening? Yeah, you know, it's funny you say we used to not talk about this and it was actually declared eliminated not too long ago. Unfortunately, measles is a very highly contagious virus. It's actually one of the most contagious viruses out there. One person can infect 90% of those people around him if they're not protected via vaccine. Oh. Uh, so it's one of the things that if you're unvaccinated, you're very, very susceptible to it. It's also very serious. One in five kids will be hospitalized because of the measles when they get it. And one in a thousand will develop encephalopathy, which unfortunately is a brain disorder and can cause permanent brain damage. So the best way to protect yourself is to get vaccinated. It's a two vaccine series, one at one year of age and the other one between four and six years old. All right, a lot of people asking about that. Glad we could, could squeeze that in. Um, another question that we got here comes from Laura. She says, my teenage daughter has acne prone sensitive skin and we can't find a sunblock that doesn't cause her to break out. What ingredients should we be on the lookout for or which ones should we avoid? Well, that's a great question, especially with all the sunshine that we've been having. I know, right? So uh, there's a couple of things. Number one, you want to look on the label for something that says non-comedogenic. And basically the, what that means is it does not clog your pores. Mm. Uh, also look for things that are not oily. So things like lotions and sprays and gels are usually a little bit better. Uh, and there's two types of uh, sunscreen. There's ones that are chemical and ones that are physical. Physical ones actually block the sun, things like zinc oxide. And although it's blocking, it's actually very good because it decreases oil and it also decreases inflammation in the skin, which can cause some acne. So not oily, non-comedogenic, and uh, make sure you block the skin with something like zinc. Great to know. All right, Jason wrote to us as well. He says, we have some nasty seasonal allergies in our house. Does eating local honey really help build up our tolerance against pollen? So old wives tale or, or something well, worth considering? That's a great question. There's some controversial uh, literature about that. So okay. some studies show that it doesn't support it and some studies show that it may help a little bit. Okay. Uh, so the one study that showed it, it helped, um, it was done when people were actually taking their medications in addition to the, vet, to, to the honey. And so it did help a little bit, but you needed to be taking the honey about eight weeks before the vet, the, the start of the allergy season. Okay. So once you do that, you can build it up. Now think about bees are actually uh, pollinating flowers. They're not really pollinating trees and grass and weeds that cause uh, allergies. So it's probably not going to hurt, but probably won't help either. So it wasn't like one of those double blind. Is that why you can't really yeah, tell yeah. how effective it was? Yeah. Um, I don't have allergies. I'm just still getting over this, you know, cold that I had first once I haven't had a cold since before COVID. Oh my goodness. And here I am like day six. I don't have a question for Dr. Turkovich. I'm just <laughs> complaining. Uh, Steve Turkovich is president of Oshai Children's Hospital. Uh, remember, you can always email us questions, voices at WKBW.com and we'll get the answers. Thanks for coming in. My pleasure. All right.